What is up YouTube? This is Shroth from Art of Presentations and I'm back with another video. And in today's video, we will be learning about Google Slides. So if you're new to Google Slides or if you're wondering whether this is the right application for you, well, you should definitely be watching this video. In this video, we will be talking about the advantages and disadvantages of using Google Slides. So without further ado, let's get started. When Google Slides were first introduced back in 2006, not a lot of people actually believed in its success. Fast forward 15 years, and today, Google Slides has definitely made a solid case for itself. In fact, a quick look at Google Trends for the word Google Slides actually indicates that it is here to stay, especially with the onset of online learning and remote working. Google Slides is definitely a new software relatively in terms of the other uh, presentation design applications which are available in the market but it is something that definitely stands out because of some of the unique features that it has to offer so let's get started with some of the advantages of using Google Slides the first advantage of using Google Slides is the fact that it's completely free to use that's right unlike many other presentation design applications which will come at some cost or the other Perhaps it could be a subscription fee or it could even be a one-time payment fee. Google Slides is completely free for all its users. You don't have to pay any subscription fee. You do not have to pay any one-time purchase fee. No strings attached. It's completely free for you to use. And that's really good if you're looking for cheaper options for presentation applications. If you're looking for options where you do not really have to spend too much of money, perhaps you're working for a non-profit or you're working in that space, or perhaps you're working on a budget, you have a limited budget, it's definitely very, very helpful. If you're a student, if you're a teacher, Google Slides is definitely affordable as it's completely free. The next advantage of using Google Slides is the fact that it allows for real-time collaboration. And I'll be honest, that's one of the main features that actually attracted me the first time I started using Google Slides. The fact that you can create Google Slides and work with your colleagues at the same time on the same presentation, it's just awesome. And that is the power of real-time collaboration that you get with Google Slides. Now, let's not take away the fact that some of the other well-known presentation design applications also offer real-time collaboration, but it's nowhere nearly as amazing as it is with Google Slides. So that's something that you will definitely get as an added advantage of using Google Slides. The other advantage of using Google Slides is the fact that it's completely web-based. You do not need to install a single software to use Google Slides. Gone are the days when you need to download a huge software onto your computer, which slows down your computer, which lags down your computer, and it's just a pain. But with Google Slides, that's definitely one thing that you don't have to worry about. Since Google Slides is a web-based tool, you don't really have to install any software to use it. To access Google Slides, all you need is a web browser and a steady internet connection. That's it, you're ready to go. And that's one of the greatest advantages of using Google Slides because it does not slow down your computer, it does not affect the performance of your computer as it is a completely a web-based tool. Now the other advantage of using Google Slides is the fact that slides are automatically saved. Yes, you do not have to press Ctrl S anymore to make sure that you have not lost your data. It basically means no more data loss. Now, I'm sure some of you, if you've worked on any other presentation application, any other well-known presentation application, be it PowerPoint, be it Keynote, I'm sure you've come across a situation where you've worked for hours and hours to no end and you completely forgot to press Ctrl S or save your presentation. And as, as a result of that, you suffered a data loss. With Google Slides, that's definitely something that you don't have to worry about. Simply because Google Slides automatically and instantly saves your presentation on the cloud. Another advantage to using Google Slides is the fact that your presentation is always accessible. That's right. Since Google Slides is a web-based presentation application and it saves your data in the cloud, and since all you need to access Google Slides is a browser and an internet connection, you can now access your presentation anywhere and anytime you want. Gone are the days where you had to carry your laptop to ensure that you have the presentation with you. Now with Google Slides, all you need is a web browser and an internet connection. Like I said before in the video, you can access your presentation anytime and anywhere you want. 
What's more, you can actually share it with some of your colleagues or your teammates and they will be able to access the same presentation for you and you perhaps don't even need to log into your account to access the same presentation. The sixth advantage of using Google Slides is that sharing your presentation is super easy and super awesome. When you're making a presentation with some of the other presentation applications, you know, sometimes you, you end up using a lot of images, you perhaps start using a lot of videos in your presentation in order to make sure that it looks nice, in order to make sure that it's visually appealing. But what that does is it makes your presentation heavy and sending a heavy file, sending a heavy presentation across to other members, ac across to other clients on an email is a big, big headache. With Google Slides, it's definitely one less thing that you need to worry about. With Google Slides, sharing your presentation is a breeze. Even if your presentation exceeds a certain limit, when you share your presentation with your client or your colleague, it is sent as a link because the files are stored in your Google Drive. So in a sense, the presentation is always saved in one location in the cloud. And just the link to that presentation is sent to your client or to your team member and they can access the presentation anytime and anywhere they want. That's the beauty of working with Google Slides because you don't have to worry about sharing your presentation. No longer do you have to worry about the size of your presentation files as well. The next advantage of using Google Slides is the cross-platform availability. Now, if you're used to using other presentation applications such as PowerPoint and Keynote, most of them have a limitation in terms of the availability on certain platforms and availability on certain operating systems. With Google Slides, that is again something that you don't have to worry about. So if today you're using Windows and tomorrow if you move to Mac, you still will be able to use your Google Slides account simply because it's a web-based tool. Plus, you don't really have to worry about importing and exporting your data from one format to the other. The other thing that you also don't have to worry about is making sure there's a compatibility issue when you're switching between operating systems and switching between computers. Because Google Slides, since it's a web-based tool, it allows you to maintain and retain the format and the design of your presentation no matter what operating system you're using and no matter what device you're using to access your presentation files. Another advantage of using Google Slides is embedding files in Google Slides is a breeze. Now, don't get me wrong, embedding files and objects in other presentation softwares is not really difficult per se, but there are some challenges that you might come across, you know, which might be a little difficult to overcome. For instance, if you were to embed a YouTube video in a PowerPoint presentation, it is a little difficult for it to work, right? But with Google Slides, it's absolutely amazing. It's very simple to use. All you need to do is just insert the link and it is very well integrated. You can very easily insert a YouTube video and it functions perfectly fine. The last advantage that I want to talk about is the fact that Google Slides also is available offline. By now, I'm pretty sure you've understood the fact that to access Google Slides, you need a web browser and an internet connection. Now, you might be wondering, what happens if you're traveling in an airplane perhaps, or if you're on road where there's limited internet connectivity? Well, you've got that covered with Google Slides as well, because Google Slides also works offline. All you need to do is just activate the Google offline option in your Google Drive, and your presentations will now be available for you to save, edit, and make changes even when you're not connected to the internet. And the beauty of it is you don't lose any work when you're back in office or perhaps you are back in a zone where you have an internet connection. You can easily sync your files and all your presentation files and the changes that you've made will immediately sync to the presentation which is available on the cloud on your drive. By now I'm sure you must be wondering if it's completely free for users to use and it allows you to do online collaboration with other users and it automatically saves all your files instantly and you don't have to worry about losing your data and it also allows you to work offline. It doesn't have any software for you to download and install. If there are so many advantages to using Google Slides, then what possibly could be a disadvantage of using Google Slides? But before you make a decision to get rid of your existing presentation application, let's first understand what are some of the disadvantages of using Google Slides. But before doing that, I've got a small request for you. If you've enjoyed watching this content so far, make sure that you hit the like button and make sure that you subscribe to this channel because I have got some amazing content planned for you guys. All right, so let's move on to some of the disadvantages of using Google Slides. The first disadvantage of using Google Slides is that you need a Google account to use Google Slides. 
Yeah. Now, I know that's not exactly a disadvantage, but let's face it. If you're not having a Google account, it might be a little difficult for you to use Google Slides. Now, I know that that's perhaps not really a big disadvantage, but you still need to take that into consideration. Another disadvantage to using Google Slides is the limited options in terms of the themes that you get pre-built in with Google Slides. Now, again, this is perhaps a work in progress on, on Google's front. Uh, I'm sure the team at Google Slides might be planning to uh, come out with a huge number of themes in the future. And that's something that you can also mitigate by using more number of themes or perhaps you can buy a theme online. There are several resources where you can actually buy a presentation template online and you, you perhaps might be able to mitigate that problem. But if you're not willing to spend any extra money or per perhaps if you don't want to, if you want to you know, use the built-in themes which are provided with Google Slides, you don't really have too many options to go with. The other disadvantage of using Google Slides is the learning curve. Now, with every software, with every application, you most definitely will have a learning curve. And that's something that you can definitely take that for granted. But if, you're, if you've used any other application before, for example, if you've used PowerPoint before and you're now moving on to using Google Slides, the learning curve might actually be slightly longer. For instance, if you used PowerPoint before and you want to go ahead and use Google Slides, a quick test for you would be, you know, if you can just try and zoom into the slides and see how it goes. I bet it will take you at least five to 10 minutes to understand the traditional way zooming in a presentation doesn't really work on Google Slides. The methodology followed is slightly different. The shortcut keys are slightly different from some of the other presentation applications. So if you've used any of the other modern day presentation design applications. Some of the shortcuts, some of the keys might be different for you to use. Some of the functions will be slightly different. And that is an extra little bit of a learning curve that you'll have to go through. Another disadvantage of using Google Slides is the limited number of animations and slide transitions that you get pre-built in with Google Slides. Now, if you're someone who's used to using PowerPoint, then the number of options that you get with Google Slides are really limited you feel like there's something which is a miss. Another disadvantage of using Google Slides is the lack of advanced features. Now, let's face it. Google Slides is free to use and it comes built in with some, some of the most unique features that presentation softwares have to offer today in the market. But what it does lack are some of the advanced features that come pre-built with an application like PowerPoint or even Keynote for that matter. For instance, the options to cut shape and merge shapes are very limited. What that does is it restricts the, the type of users who would, you know, who can leverage Google Slides in the first place. It actually limits the flexibility as a designer that you would have when you're making a presentation on Google Slides. The other disadvantage of using Google Slides is the loss of formatting when you import a presentation from a PowerPoint or even a Keynote. Now, given the fact that Google Slides only comes with limited options when it comes to animations and transitions as compared to PowerPoint and Keynote. When you're importing these presentations from PowerPoint or Keynote into Google Slides, the animations and transitions which are not provided with Google Slides just do not work. That limits the, the whole capability and the functionality of your presentation when you're importing your files from PowerPoint or even Keynote for that matter. All right, so that's it from my end for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, my request to you would be, please like this video, please subscribe to this channel. I've got some amazing content planned out for you guys so that you guys can master the art of presentation and make sure that you hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any new content that is coming out. And please help me spread the word around so that others can also benefit from these videos and from the hard work that I've been putting in. For now, this is Shroth from Art of Presentations and I'll see you in the next video.